hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of PC419 Talking Tech. I'm the host, Lee, and we have Matt here co-hosting Talking Tech as always. Hello. How was everyone's weekend? How was everyone's week? It has been a big week for PC419. A lot of reviews going out. Matt, what do you reckon? Been pumping it, mate. Been pumping them out. Absolutely smashing them. Burning the midnight oil. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever oil's left is it's starting to run out, but anyway. <laughs> oh, God. What's going on, guys? How's your week been? Vince, new cut? No, it's not. I just shaved it. I shaved it again. I just... Lee, can, Lee can get new cuts? Yeah. My, um, my yeah, wife was busting my bees <laughs> to uh, regrow my hair because she's uh, re- been reminiscing a lot of old photos of me uh, with long hair. But I, um, yeah, I've got to I've got to get her out from it because men have greys at me on the side I'm like nah have you got greys? yeah apparently yeah not now <laughs> no, they're not all now. gone now he's got sunburn <laughs> pretty much <laughs> <laughs> nice and shiny actually just before we started the show uh, <laughs> your wife was yelling out geez you look hot back in the day yeah, yeah. I know. She, did, she did too she did too not now <laughs> not now now it's just uh, grass yeah that's it mate that's it what do you do old age you know it gets you gets to you sometimes what my, thir- my 33 guys, by the way. So. I was going to say, you're, 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 not, you're only 22. You're not even old. Oh, mm. I wish. <laughs> How's everyone been? Vincent, I want my game back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Vince won. Vince freaking wins everything. Mm. What do you win? What do you win on your show? A copy of Assassin's Creed. Really? The game is actually really good, but I've only played like half an hour of it so far. How are you finding it? Not really. I decided not to keep it. I went to give it to a to a viewer instead. Vincent. Oh, so it was your game? No, 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 no. no. I've played about half an hour of it. Oh, yeah. Was it good? But I gave away two copies on my stream. This two this copies. Month. Yeah, because Vincent won the first one. <laughs> I had to pick <laughs> oh, up the first one. <laughs> so you felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the. I've still got. Us. I've still got another game to give away. Okay, cool. And what game is that going to so be? So that's going to be Total War Warhammer Two. Wow. The new one. That is actually so, a really good game. We yeah. actually remember when we first met. We actually started playing it. The original one. War, uh, the original Warhammer. Yeah. Good game. It is good. All game. the Total Wars are good. They are. All the Total I love Total Wars. Yeah. Especially the medieval ones. I'm a very massive fan of the medieval ones. So, yeah, it's um, one of those things where I was playing medieval, medieval Total War 2. I've got hours. Hour, hundreds of hours on that game. Oh, really? Yeah. I, really I, like, I, like, I like how they bring out, out all of these same style games, but different. Well, I don't, I don't mind the Warhammer theme, to be honest. Like, especially the vampire clan, whatever you want to call mm, them. Mm, oh, actually, mm. that's the first thing I want to talk about. They're I, annoying. I vampire, so. Sorry? They're annoying. Why? Because they plague the, the, the land. You've got to quickly take them out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I realise. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, 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 you're, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. So, how's everyone's weekend been so far? Let us know in the chats. Um, any new builds going out? I've seen a few, actually, on the Everyone's app. hashtagging group. PC419 Red Bull. Hashtag it on Facebook, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag it. We want to. We want to draw their attention. So see if they notice. You want to want? It'll be interesting. I want one of those. If you go to events, Red Bull carry like these freezer bags. Mm. All those bags. Yeah, they, they come and bring them around to you. Yeah. And they've got the big backpacks. The big backpacks. With the cans. That will look awesome in the back here. So it'll be good. Be good to good. Be good to. If we can have one. Nugget says, did you swap your Metabox lappy for the MSI one, PC four one nine? Well, <laughs> speaking of MSI laptops. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, Nugget, this is actually a review unit. It is the GT75 VR. It is With the amazing. 7820. HQ. Um, 1080 GDX, 32 gig RAM. It's actually been running awesome. 512 gig M.2. Yes, it is, yes. Yeah. Mechanical keyboard. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Lovely click- clickage. And here click, I am. Click. Can you hear mine? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Um, yeah, so it's been going great so far. So I'm doing a review on that. I've got it for a couple of weeks. So you'll be seeing this on the next probably two, three episodes of Talking Tech. MSI have been graciously, graciously good enough to actually you know, send me a re- re- another review unit, which has been good. Do you know what I've been amazed in with it, though, so far? Mm. We were using it yesterday a lot. Sort of went pretty under load, but it was yep. cool. Yeah. Like, it wasn't hot to... T- you know how laptops you usually mm. find one hot spot, hot patch? I think it disperses the heat whole pretty, top, yeah. pretty well, I think. I think with the um, mechanical keys, which I might actually try and show we'll, you We'll guys show you now. guys. Yeah, we'll see. We've got the Brio happening, so we'll see if it works. Can you see that? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yep. 
So, obviously, RGB for days. No, you wouldn't have it any other way. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Lee, I'm surprised you haven't actually changed the colour yet to a static colour. Oh, no. I'm actually leaving it for the moment. Oh, yeah? For the review, I'm just going to keep it. Yeah. You know, doing, yeah. doing, its, doing its rainbow effect. Yep. So, yep. Yep. But it's full of RGB yep. goodness. It's what sort of keys are they? They are. It's, are they it's, blues? You said they sound like blues. They sound like blues. They sound like blues. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you? Oh, so it's it actually is. It actually is. Press um, the key down. Show them the. The actuation. Yeah. I'm it's, about it, it's actually got for a laptop key. It's got fed uh, so distance, doesn't it? Focus. Focus. <laughs> focus. Focus. Right. Sorry, guys. So if you look at it. Yeah, so that, that's a fair distance down. But that's good though. I like keys that you know that you're pressing. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to compare it... Quickly turn it. No? <laughs> Quickly turn it. What's that? It's a you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> so if you, want to quick, if you want to compare it, it does sound like... Um, it's a blue, definitely a blue switch. It sounds good, blue switch. Why, feels, why am I the reading? feel and the sound is definitely blue. Why am I reading so? I read somewhere, I swear to God, that they were brown. I swear mm. to God. I could be wrong. But even though if the browns or not, it still sounds good, blue. And feels like a blue. The tactile feel is just too tactile. What do you reckon I should rub it onto him? You reckon? A bit of my makeup? You want some? What's that? No, no, apparently I got makeup on. You got makeup on? Yeah. That's a compliment. Mm. Yeah, so apart from that, the laptop's been running, running fantastic. So, so far, hopefully I get some gaming on it. Yeah, right. But we'll, um, <laughs> we'll see. But for the review, I'll be, doing, be definitely doing a few games. There's actually been a post on PC419 itself. And I had a post there saying, what sort of games do you want to play on the MSI? So it's Assassin's Creed, uh, Battlefront 2, other two games so far. You have far. to give Assassin's Creed a go. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So 120 hertz screen. Perfect. Also, too, we've got. Um, so th this laptop re uh, retails for five thousand bucks. Yes, it does. Five thousand one hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Mm. Holy crap! If you guys remember, I actually had the GT seventy-three. So the GT seventy-five difference yeah. between the two is m mainly what I can see so far is the keyboard. Bar from that, is pretty much on the same par. So yeah. five kilos. Mm -hmm. Five centimeters thick. Yes, it is. Five centimeters thick. It is a thick ass laptop. Laptop. You know the really big novels that you get? Mm -hmm. It's the same size. Yeah. Just to give you guys an idea. You'll be seeing it soon. I've got hopefully next couple of weeks. So <coughs> once I've done a review, I'll let you know. Thank you. How much did you pay, uh, Booster Kane, for the Metabox? Welcome, by the way. Hello. Welcome, what welcome. What sort of specs are in the Metabox if you spent more than 5,109? It must be beast. Oh, he's got... He's got yeah. He's got, so it must, must be an absolute it. beast, mate. Did he, did he buy one? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, that's much cheaper than the Metabox I bought last year. $6,800. Holy moly. Is that running SLI configuration? That is definitely a Prime. Prime X. That's huge. I've got the Metabox P... What the hell is it? It's actually down there. Next to you. I'm going to whip it. Whip Wait. it out. Oh, the in, back. The, in the bag. There's a lot of bag there. It's in the box. Which is still on. Mm, yeah, it's still on. <laughs> yes, keep in the model of this Actually, one. Well, it yeah. is the PA71HS. This is my daily driver, which has been yep, fantastic so far. I've got to admit, Metabox do make a really good laptop. I should say Clevo, because um, Metabox is actually Clevo rebranded, uh, but the Metabox obviously do their little um, thing to it. They spruce it. They spruce it up. Uh, yes, it's it. SLI, 2 M.2s. Yeah, it's definitely a prime X one. You have one beast of a laptop, good sir. Is that running a mechanical keyboard as well? And actually, uh, Vincent said that this sounds uh, like a mecha membrane. It does. It does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good one but it's got, Vince, it's got, it does feel like blue switches. <coughs> so if you were looking, if you're trying to think of the top of your head, or, you know, for you, where, where you are now, it's definitely blue. That's the definitely feel out of it, so. Yeah, prime X. Let me grab those. Specs. Is it waterproof? <laughs> Ask him aside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope everyone's entered the competition that we got going at the moment. I'm surprised nobody's noticed. What's up? 
Oh. Don't, I'm not saying anything. No, I'm not saying anything either. We're not saying anything. Whoever notices something different about where we are, <laughs> then I'll mention it. I'm, I'm seriously surprised you guys haven't noticed. See? They don't notice anything. No. They notice our seats. No. as far as we get. Yeah, notice, notice the laptop. I'm just looking at this. Um, Damn it, Danny, you smart buddy. Dang it. <laughs> what is that? So that is the machine. What is that? That's the machine that uh, is going to be given away. All this right. is the PC419 PC Envy giveaway. Giveaway, yes. Minus the cooler. Minus the cooler. The cooler is sitting up there. It's sitting right up there. It's almost finished. So as soon as... The uh, bench is too high. <laughs> as soon as Lee does a review... Yes. The, final, the, final the cooler will be going into the build. Yes. And, um, yeah... We'll overclock it, blow it up, and give it to the customer. Pretty much. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that is the uh, PCME behind us. I'll uh, definitely be having it powered up by, by next next talking tech. It'll be powered up. Ready to go. It's looking good so far, though. I think, uh, the glass is the six. I think I'm covering it. It looks like literally. Oh, yeah? Right up, Maybe right we behind. should have put it here. Maybe. Like, sort of where the, where the cap is, sort of thing? I don't want to move it now, but we should move it. Sort of. Nah. Next week, I'll move it. Nah. Because I can see we can move it. Boxes fly everywhere and people are going to clip the videos. <laughs> nah, no <nah>, thanks. <laughs> Josh will take a screenshot. Yeah. Put some meme onto it. Exactly. Put exactly. it on the Discord channel. Love Vincent, my PC. Mate, you've got your PC. You've got a $4,000 beast of a PC. So, be happy. <laughs> Is the bench high? Is the bench higher than usual? I uh, don't know, to be honest. Maybe. I like it. It's yeah. It's all right. Um, so some modding news, not really some modding news, some, some um, new builds PC49 will be doing in the next couple of months, a uh, month or so. So Cooler Master have graciously sent us the Master Case H500P, which is going to be a oh, H500P. Um, yeah, H500P. <laughs> which you guys saw in the intro video. Yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, for that reason is obviously we'll be, I'll be doing a mod in that. And also the Cosmos case. C700. C700P, which is going to be another build we were doing. So it's going to be very fancy. It's going to be good. Honestly, I really can't wait to have those two builds ready. Um, Cosmos, we're looking at maybe industrial look. Yeah, is that more of that? Yeah. It's not, sort of like it's a not, it's not really a, it's not really a themed mod. It's just pretty much just a industrial. So the H500P will be themed? Yes. It'll be themed? Yes. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention the theme yet. And the Cosmos will be... I'm thinking like a like a. Thank you for the host. Thanks, Chronic. Like a stormy, dark, eerie sort of theme because the case comes out silver, like a gunmetal. Yeah. And the tint on the side is extremely dark, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, it is dark. So, our builds will be featuring, the builds that we do will be featuring um, Primo Chill's new new view. Yes. New view coolant. If you guys haven't seen it, it is amazing. It is amazing. It's uh, it adds like a like a cloudy effect. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, if we can get some video, I'll, videos. I'll, try get, I'll try and get some videos. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, but we I actually I watched some reviews on it. No nugget. Nvidia theme is gone. It's actually going to be um, sort of semi decommissioned. That PC will now go to. Should I even say it? <laughs> that PC is going to go down to my son. So his son's going to have it. <clears throat> the case and the water cooling. But it's going to be have a major downgrade in power. <laughs> so, yeah, the X two nine nine system will be going into the new H five hundred. But yeah, how is it tonight? Tonight is good, mate. Very it's good. good. It's good. How are you? Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront? No, it's not actually. No, that would be not. that would be pretty cool though. Mm. That would involve actually no, it wouldn't be cool because that would involve him getting a Titan, one of the new ones. And Don't I'm, I'm pretty sure someone would do that. Do not go there. <laughs> do not go there. Mm, that's funny. So but yeah, so the, the new view coolant looks great, which, which, which will be amazing. Yeah. So well, we'll I'll give you a hint, right, on the actual theme. People who know me for a very long time, which I don't think anyone actually, there's probably two people in here that know me for a very long time. It's something that I played religiously. Is the surely thing. you should all know. he brings it up every week. Yeah. So surely, and except for this week because he's not going to now. So yeah. So <laughs> but something I played religiously. Um, that is the theme. Dean is on the he's on the on the ball tonight because he brought up the PC. So I'm sure that he'll What's that? he'll he'll give you a, give everyone a hint as to the theme yeah. that he thinks it is. So we'll, or we'll definitely find somebody out. else will. Not Star Wars. So Minesweeper, yeah, mate, Minesweeper. that's that's the one. That would be cool. That is the one. 
Have, have you seen those um, the side panels with the TV with the with the, with the very thin yeah, um, yeah, yeah. thin film? Yeah. And actually have you can actually um, or do holograms. I watched the YouTube guide on actually making one. Oh really? You can you can it's taking the filament out of a LCD screen. Yeah. And you can stick it onto the onto the side of the case. It's like a DIY thing. Yeah. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has anyone else seen that? Apparently, there's a case that comes shipped with it. Apparently, it's only it was at it was China, a, it was China a, or you know, it was at CES and it was at Computex. I did see it. Was it? Yeah. So if you go if you go it to one of the, the um, time yeah, performance did, yeah. metrics yeah clouds I saw it. like a like a weird I saw it. I definitely thing. saw that one. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. All right. We'll start the show, but I'm going to do a quick sponsor shout out. So I'd like to thank PLE Computers for obviously tonight's giveaways. We have a fifty dollar. Yeah, a fifty dollar voucher for from PLE as Can also destroy. Destiny Two, um, Battable for Battable chairs as always, um, Cooler Master for the Master Ma- for the Master Keys Pro L and the Master Mouse as well. Thank you very much, and MSI for the review units allowing us to actually use it. <laughs> it's a curvy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is nice. You've got to give it that. So, well, thank you. Slick, Slick thanks Slick for the host, mate. Thank you very much. Thank All you. All right, so I don't know, I'm looking here, but I, should, I can just see it right here, so I don't know why I'm looking there, but it's because it's the sounds coming from that side. Um, Black Friday. Who here yeah. spent a shitload of money yeah. on Friday? Who spent a shitload of money? What, what did Let you guys Let us know in the buy? chat what was your best deal, and then we'll see if that deal can be beaten. Now, like Black Friday's gone. I know it's Sub Monday was yesterday. Sub Monday was yesterday, so, so that's it, that still counts. So yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Exactly. What did yeah. you get? What, what did was you get? what was your best thing that you bought through the day, um, so even on Sub Monday, that you think that you've got the best deal? And honestly, I reckon I can find something and probably better it. You reckon? <laughs> okay, we'll you try. Reckon? We'll try. Well, I know that Danny already bought. He said he bought uh, camping gear, and yeah. he got thirty uh, percent off. You said, yeah. Danny? I'm pretty sure. Busa, 1950X and a board. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Nice, nice. I know AMD had some mass drops on their, yeah. their, pro- their uh, products, so that's good. Yes, apparently it has the MX Browns. Thank you, Nugget. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's, Matt's AC Origins. Yeah, that was 100% free. <laughs> you know what, you can't... Sorry, Vince, oh, Vince wins. You can't beat that because it's free, so... <laughs> Um, Mephisto is $573, 32 gig of G Skill Triton Z RAM, and $165 for 240 gig Corsair MP500 M.2. That's not bad. That's not too bad. That's not too, not too bad. bad. Josh, you spent $700. What did you get, Josh? You fixed the carpet up. What did you get? What did you get? <laughs> not, not including your carpet. Yeah. What did you get? Spent close to $1,500. Charlie got all three, got the Armour 3 pack. You know what? Should have bought it. I that's, actually had that's, it on there. That's actually separate because Steam has the autumn sale going at the moment. Yeah, but he was supposed to be there. I was, I was supposed to buy it. I was supposed to buy it. Well, yeah. it, did anyone buy any games as well? Like uh, like Charlie? Did you guys buy anything? I think it ended I've, 6 o'clock tonight. Fuck. It ended. Shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ended tonight. So it, it went for four days. I was going to buy it. I've been meaning to buy it for so long. I actually had it in my wish list. Armor. And usually, you know what I didn't do? Because Steam has, if it goes down on special, it usually emails you stating that this has gone down to. I got an email $10. saying it's the autumn sale was on. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't, you didn't get, get it. it. But how can you not see it as soon as you open Steam? Autumn sale. No, I didn't open Steam this week. Uh, that's why. Okay. But you usually get an email anyway, because if, if it drops down in price, it lets it notifies you. If it's in your wish list. Yes. Yeah, it says an item on your on your. Yeah, it has wish come list down. Has, oh, well, yeah, has yeah. gone for sale. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Joshy, I bought a battle chair K70 Lux Brown. Three 120 mil fans, 70 watt EVGA Supernova PSU. Very you nice. Didn't, you didn't buy three 120 mil Corsair fans, did you, Josh? I thought they were Cooler Master fans. Nice. Don't get that mucked up. He was looking at the Corsair. He didn't get the Corsair. Oh, okay. I think. Vincent bought Destiny 2. Vince, you could probably put a one tonight. Uh-huh. SK got the armor notification. See, I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. Uh-huh. Everyone but you. Oh well, what do you do? Another thing to note: uh, Escape from Tarkov is twenty percent off. Yeah, Black Friday sale as well. So looking at look at the list, you got Fathers of Raptors, um, only a PS4 games, Horizon Zero Dawn, thirty two dollars, GD game. Sport for twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine bucks, awesome! Wow, that's good. That's good. All right. So that's what good. do you think? Choose, choose mm-hmm. one out of the list from now, and let's see if we can find a deal that's better. What's BDO Chronic? What's that? What's BDO? BDO for six dollars. What's that? Do I not want you to let me know what it stands for? 
Booster for to the 950X <laughs> for $1,248. You got that for. And then $190 for an Inimax. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's, that's Let exciting. us know how that cooler goes. Black Desert Online. Okay. All right. Okay. I thought it was for Oh, Black else. Desert. Oh, I thought yeah. it was for something else. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried there for a minute. <laughs> uh, so Twitch couldn't buy anything. Had to give rent to his mum, which is fair enough. Oh, you gotta do. What you gotta do. <laughs> uh, Josh. Oh, yeah, it was Cool Master. <laughs> oh God. I told him to get the Cool Master. That's Did why. You? Yeah. Of course, they're fans. The the L, the LL ones, the mm -hmm. new ones that are coming out. How much? They were one hundred and forty-five dollars for three. That's that's. That's 50 bucks a fan. I'm going to be buzzing tonight. I've had two of <laughs> That's 50 bucks a fan. Mm. Um, so he opted for the Cooler Master ones because it was $79 for a pack of three. Yeah. And the, Aurus, the, the, the Corsair ones aren't. I've actually got a full oh, set so. of Cooler Master yeah. ones in the box. Too. Yeah. yeah. So probably uh, t maybe tomorrow I'll do like another photo shoot of the um, new project going to be released for Cooler Master. Thanks to them. Also, I'll be honest, Cooler Master have been fantastic. Antec Cooler Master, pretty, well, pretty much all the sponsors that are currently with me now, they've been so fantastic with PC419. I really, really, really appreciate all them supporting. I want you to do something. Well, I've just got an idea. Put a Cooler Master cap on. Mm -hmm. Put one on. Right now? Yeah. Why? Because yeah, I, can, I, I can just, I don't know, guys. I can, I can see him rocking the, the Cooler Master cap. <laughs> Chuck it on. Chuck actually, it on. Um, Why not? You've actually never worn them, so. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta wear it to the side there. Like no, I didn't want that. You know, like gang, gang, gangster, you know? Josh, Josh will grab it. I know he'll do something with it. For Sorry. that split second, he probably pressed print screen. Yeah, he probably did too. Sure. He'll probably clip that. Yeah, so, um, the first I'm going to have 11 H120s. And That's a H1 lot of fans, buddy. Yeah, but he's got a big case. View 71. Huge. Yeah, I know, but huge. You need 11? Full tower. It's got water cool. Full town. Do you think you need that many? Would you Would you recommend that many? Eleven fans, with all with, with water cooling. Oh yeah, I'm a I'm, I'm a fan of fans. You're a fan of fans. Yeah. Only because of RGB. I've got about one, two, three, four fans. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have more. Huh? You'll have more. Yeah, I'll have more. You'll I've have got more. no choice but have more. You know, I read the most ridiculous thing today. What's that? I at, at my work we ran out of thermal paste um, and we we're ordering some mm -hmm. and we came across this um, oh I, I can't remember what I was doing but I was scrolling through something and somebody tried to tell somebody it was on a forum somebody tried to tell somebody God, that you you, forums? You, yeah I was just I, I, was, like I, said, I, was, I don't know how the hell I got there but somebody was telling uh, telling somebody in a reply uh, somebody was asking what thermal paste to use and somebody wrote you don't need it what, you don't need thermal paste at all? Or? Somebody wrote, um, only if you are in dire straits do you need thermal paste. Because yeah. your CPU is wondering how it's not funny. They said, as long as it's screwed down properly and making direct contact with the uh, with the chip... That's not making any sense. You don't, you don't need thermal paste. What the hell? That's not making sense at all. What the hell? Why didn't that work? You should have seen the comments after. I won't say them. <laughs> you should have seen the comments after. That was bad. <clears throat> uh, that was bad. Sorry, Charlie. I'm trying to add you as a moderator, but it's not working. All right. What are you doing? It keeps going back and forth. Damo, you said that you can hear noise. My, uh, there is a lot of background noise. You might want to modify gate noise. Open the mic. Too bad. That is the actual aircon because it's the air con, it is it's 29 hot. degrees in here. So it is very hot in here. So you'll have to put up with it. I have um, two 140s in the front. I'm trying to rear. Going to have four 140s on the Nmax push pull. Push pull is push mint. pull is probably the best thing. It's yeah, it's good if your case supports it. It's pretty thick though. Because by the time you put what what a fans 25 mil each, yeah, so that's 50 million fans. Yeah, that. We got that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't clip it, Josh. Yeah. So probably seven. No, nah, it's honestly if the, if the noise is annoying you guys, I'll shut it off. Yeah. And we'll sweat yeah. it out. Yeah. We can sweat it out. That's all right. Um, so do this quickly. So do you want to do, do you want to grab the first topic for tonight? Mm, yeah, let's grab Samsung. So we do Samsung first. Yeah. Samsung. Samsung. 
Sum sum. Just gotta grab this quickly, I'll let you do that. So the first topic for tonight guys, uh, Samsung has plans to show off micro LED TVs at CES. So this will be CES next year, obviously, because it's already happened this year. Um, uh, Samsung currently offers a wide range of QLED TVs for sale, but for high-end displays they still have some drawbacks. So apparently QLED for the enthusiast um, is still not pleasing to the eye. So Samsung is stepping it up and they're going for a micro LED uh, sort of situation. They're currently working on it uh, and what micro LED consists of, if, for those who don't know, uh, each pixel must be less than 100 micrometers. Freaking tiny. Yeah. So you can imagine how much more density, especially with HDR and stuff mm -hmm. like that, will look amazing. That will give the Xbox One X a fair go for its money, I reckon, seeing one of them on it. Producing extremely small LEDs is a manufacturing challenge that seems to be the greatest roadblock preventing a marketable product. Once the tiny diodes can be produced, applying them to a plastic backing will be will allow for thin, light, and pliable displays. So, does that tell you that they can potentially go thinner? How much thinner can they really go? So, well, what's what, what's the standard TV now, guys? How thin is the standard TV? Thirty mil? No. Twenty mil? No. Oh, it's, it's not, sorry, it's, it's almost standard TV. There's the like, like if you were to go out today and buy one. There's the LG credit card TV, which is like really thin. Oh really? Okay. All right. It's does it's does it's that fold as well? And it does. Yeah. You, can, you can swipe it at the ATM. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. It's called the. I think. I think. I think it's actually called the LG credit card TV because it's. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't give us any indication in this article, which is on TechSpot.com. Uh, just shows. Yeah, basically. Sony was the first to show off a 55 inch micro LED TV in 2012, apparently. Mm -hmm. Since then, little data was revealed to the public and a commercial product was never launched. So they may have been marketing for a different different market, so maybe corporate um, and all that sort of stuff. So these are more consumer ones that we're going to see. Samsung could be changing that at CES 2018 with the unveiling of a gigantic 150 inch micro LED TV. For a good price of $155,000. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much a dollar for a Micron. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> uh, micro LED TVs could further reduce power consumption and prevent burning. Which is weird, isn't it? Mm. Because you think that it'd use more power. Um, you think that it'd use more power because technically there's more LEDs. If, yeah. they, if they pack more into the surface area that one would take up. Mm -hmm. So, that, that's that's very weird. It's... It is very, very weird. <coughs> Sounds like a gentle ocean breeze behind you. Go and turn it off. Mm. Go and turn it off. That's alright, we'll sweat, we'll sweat, we'll sweat. Oh. <laughs> and Lee just nearly rolled over his laptop. <laughs> that was very close. Oh, I've got a fan. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Strampy! Excuse me one second, guys. The actual... <laughs> believe it or not, the episode is actually lagging, and I've, it's sort of... making my job here redundant. <laughs> then he says, at PC49, close your downloads. <laughs> is, is it, it, is it is skipping? A, is it lagging out? Is it skipping? Is it skipping, Danny? So apparently, Samsung is not the only business that are doing these TVs. Yeah. Apparently, Apple is also working on oh, methods. Really? So maybe we'll see it in mobiles. Ah, really? Apple is stepping into AR, VR market. Oh, really? It is believed that Apple would like to implement the new, dis new display technology into wearables, uh, AR, VR uses. Mobile devices are unlikely to use micro LED displays anytime soon since producing the required size of LED is still not scalable for mass production. I can't see them getting away with it cheap, and I can't see us getting away with it cheap neither. Like you said, mm. $150,000 for a TV seems... Well, that was it was right, because when they first brought out like the 85-inch or 100-inch LED, it was like really thin. That was like was, eight, 8 grand? No, it was $80,000. Oh, was it 80? Yeah, it was like something really? ridiculous like that. Really? For 100-inch, I think it was a 100-inch TV. Sweaty 419. <laughs> yep. We do it for you. We do it for you. Mm -hmm. um, give me one second. Mind you, the the price of TVs and stuff, like everything's getting really. Like Kogan, mm -hmm. how can Kogan 
afford to sell TVs that freaking cheap? Direction manufacturer. Direction manufacturer? Pretty much, yeah. I bought a Kogan TV, and the only the only qualm I have with it is the sound. The sound is shit. That's pretty much a common fault. I wouldn't say a fault, but a common issue for all... Apparently, for from what I could read, because I was doing some... Re- uh, reading up on the TV that I was going to yeah, buy yeah. apparently the panel is the same as like an LG or something like that it is an LG panel yeah. it's either an LG panel or Samsung panel They're, it's the exact same panel yeah. so but the actual quality that, that differs is in the plastics the, the way it's mounted in there and stuff like that and the speakers and stuff like that and use. also the microprocessor running it behind it that's pretty much it you're buying the panel yep. but then the hardware to run it uh, thank you thanks Aussie. Aussie thank you um, but the hardware to run it is is what Obviously, it's different. Yep. So you're paying, yep. you're, you're paying a bit more. Look, the Samsung TVs have got like a little box now. It's a bit different. So it's nothing's in the TV. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's where it'd be a good idea to buy a Kogan TV for damn cheap. There you go. More to just go buy some external speakers and you're done with it. Yeah, that, that's what I did. Yeah. Um, and come buy a broken same Samsung TV that uses the same panel, but it's cracked or something and swap them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got an eight grand TV Pretty for, much. There you go. for 800 bucks. <laughs> There you go. So, going to the next topic, if it allows me to. Um, is it playing up, is it? That's lagging. I don't know why it's lagging, but it's lagging. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Busa, yeah, because it doesn't cost that much to produce. It's all in the R&D. That is correct. So, the people who are going to be buying who have bought 8th Gen. No, that's all right. I've, I've gotten over this topic. Have you? Mm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. All right. Talk about it. <laughs> Ask again. Are you sure? because <laughs> <laughs> I'll be pissed you know what they're do- you know what they're doing this but <laughs> but okay why is there competition oh, so um, Kid Guru apparently have released an article saying that uh, various details on the Intel 9th gen alright 8th gen just got released i7 i5 i3 CPUs and core i9s for laptops Core i9 for a laptop. Serious. So when MSI bring out the GT 95 VR, it will be it'll have that. it'll be 110 <laughs> inches high. <laughs> <laughs> packing be, packing four graphics cards yeah, and two four, four, ten, four, four uh, <laughs> Titans. <laughs> <laughs> now I've gotten over this. Mm. I just bought a Ace Gen Coffee Lake, but th- this won't drop mm. for. Another year at least. So I'm uh, sweet. I can save my pennies. That's all right. That's all right. But they're doing this because Ryzen, they're com- uh, getting a refresh. Yeah, I know. But is, is it too soon to be talking about, uh, you know, 9th gen already? It happens every time. Yeah, but I don't know. It happens every time. So who here has bought a 8th gen CPU recently, like within the last week or so, I'm going to say? And um, now that obviously already talking about the night gen, so I'm guessing it will be we will definitely see them at maybe CES, and then I reckon a full release at Computex. I actually don't want to go to CES or Computex. Why? Because I don't want to get jealous through all the stuff that's coming out after I've just wasted my money buying. That stuff. is the best thing about Computex, though. Is it? CES is good too. I want to go to CES one day. I don't think I'm allowed to go to CES until I take my family to Vegas first <laughs> before I can go. Um, but Competex yeah, is definitely yeah. going to go. That's true. If Mr. Hate says this argument could be had anytime you buy anything. Yeah, but, it happens, this, but you're it's... talking about a CPU that has got a shortage of actually sales currently now. So shortage of CPUs. Hey, and they're already, already talking, talking about, about the, next the ninth one. gen. Like, <laughs> seriously, sell what you've got now before you start, start talking about something that's going to be next up. That's correct. It's just literally just words in the air. It's just to, you know... Keep Intel's name out really at this at this specific time before AMD release out their new you know CPU lineup if they're going to release one soon. Well, um, Intel have gotten over that hurdle because they're now producing somewhere else uh, yes, the chips and they have the uh, the production bumped and they ensure that by Christmas time they'll have plenty of stock yeah. to uh, rejuvenate the empty shelves of stores. That's exactly right. So. Ryzen says Twitch Pingu. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what can Ryzen do in a refresh. What can they do? I suppose what can uh, eight point one Coffee Lake revision bring to the table as well? Because I'm sure that we'll see some of them as well uh, drop before the ninth gen come out. Exactly right. So we'll see. So eight sixty four apparently leaked this. Hmm. Uh, apparently, some names were put into the database of Ada64. Uh, I9 
8950K was entered into the database, mm-hmm. which will be Intel's first Core i9 laptop processor based on Coffee Lake architecture. Okay. So there you go. That Does could be the first one that we see. Is that going out? I'm not sure it's going out. Yeah. It will come with six cores and 12 threads, while also being overclockable, assuming the laptop's cooling system can keep the temperatures down. Okay. So keeping in mind as well, guys, that the 8th gen uh, and the 7th gen, 7th gen was more hotter than the 8th gen. It was more revised than the 8th gen. Yeah. But they still get hot. So not ours, Mark. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see how the, the whole cooling thing goes. Mm-hmm. A new line of Pentiums will drop as well soon, which is good because we don't have anything in the 8th gen. All we have is i3, i5, and i7. So more... Uh, business orientated computers uh, entry level computers Pentium is still a very good processor for the price Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see what they launch at but there you go guys we've got nice gen coming uh, obviously it's inevitable it could tell you without looking at oh, well, it's definitely, it's definitely going to come out but I, I still think it's this way too soon so the code name for these are to be called Cannon Lake Yes, that's, yeah, that's, that was the one I heard Cannon about. Lake is the, is the upcoming one mind you they had Coffee Lake for this one but mm-hmm. they renamed it to 8th gen. Yes. So do you think that they'll keep the trend and go with 9th gen with the next one? Maybe. Maybe. I think it'll be 9th gen. Or we call it 9th gen. It's just a code name for it, as, as you said. So. I think it sounds good. Like, 8th, 8th gen sounds good. Mm. With it, without having a code name. It rolls off the tongue, you know? At what time <coughs> does, talking, does talking Star Wars or selling gaming start? No, no talking <laughs> Star Wars. Is <laughs> no, not tonight. Not tonight. It's no. really, I, I don't know what's happening, but it's really lagging out. It's pissing me off. What is the, the laptop or the... The laptop. The laptop. Yeah. It's just taking its time doing stuff, isn't it? It's taking its time doing everything. Hmm. Interesting. Also breaking 4K views in total. Oh, yes. Almost. Almost. You need to know if Luke is really Darth Vader's father. <laughs> I can't tell you. You'll have to watch my stream. <laughs> CPUs, more Dell says CPUs have been fast enough for quite a while now, still on Sandy Bridge. There's no reason to change, as soon as you see a bottleneck and you'll be able to tell. Um, as long as you've got a good combo, as long as you've got a good card and a good processor and they work well together uh, and they play the stuff that you want to play at the resolution that you want, it's fine. You, you don't need to upgrade. Keeping in mind as well that uh, there's a lot of competitive um, things going on in the, in the tech world at the moment, isn't there? Like obviously they're dropping prices to compete with each other mm. and they've got all these new fan angle processes coming now, out now so you might see a drop if you're looking to upgrade something will happen soon eventually yeah I can't believe how much AMD dropped their processes though that was a big jump for Black Friday and stuff that was like a big that. jump yeah to do what most of them was like $100 80 70, so the higher 120. up you went remember Last yeah. Second? yeah so the higher up you went the more savings you got yeah um, if the PC4 and on admins can do that please that would be fantastic so I can't <laughs> physically I'm trying to but it won't work um, right so, so is the is the bot putting out all of the messages and stuff uh, I think so I think you think so. so let's go to the giveaway. hey Mrs. Data how you doing um, alright guys so we're going to do a first giveaway which is I don't want to give up on the 7700K, but need the extra cores on TR4 for video editing for my drone and flying. You have a... Well done, man. First person that I've heard that has actually bought that processor mm-hmm. with the intention to use all the cores. <laughs> what was his thing there? I don't remember it. Where was it? He gave oh, up. Booster. So Yeah, Booster gave up his 7700K yeah. because he needed the extra cores for TR4 because yeah. he wants to do video editing for his drone and well he's actually bought it physically because he wants to use it yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah. that's actually really good so well yeah well done man yeah. like most of the people that I mm-hmm. have spoken to have just gone out and bought it cause, just cause yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. without like I'm yeah. going to go play Solitaire yep yep <laughs> if you run it in 64 bit it uses all the courses if you haven't noticed guys I put in the PLE gift voucher giveaway so hashtag PC41 on PLE good luck everyone um Next topic, mate. You have actually, this is your one, but I'll do a quick review on this one. Razor CEO explains the benefits of removing the headphone jack. You can do this one. All right, I'm ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't been reading this stuff neither. I'm just sort of skimming through it. Okay, so oh, we'll go through it quickly. As a grade of some of the year's flagship smartphones, 
Apparently, the latest phone to ditch the traditional 3.5mm is the new Razer phone. It is a move that not everyone's happy with, but according to Razer CEO, it has paved the way for some major improvements to in other areas. Before I continue on, why do you think they will remove the headphone jack? In what specific reason? Because we're saying the microphone had the patent. Apart from that, mm. one, what do you guys think in the chat is the reason why they removed the headphone jack? What, what is one of the reasons why they're removing the headphone jack? Are you talking specifically Razer? Or no, all, no, all no the I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing everyone. So anyone, so far, this at, till today, what are the reasons why they remove the headphone jack? Bar from, don't say thinner or, you know, trying to squeeze it all into, into a small, small plat. It's not that. Bar from that. What do you think, guys? Let us know. Yeah, it, it isn't gone, though. It's not gone, no. You can just drill it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let us know. So we've got a few here. It's got space, Bluetooth, space for all things, battery life is longer, waterproofing. So they can make more money. All, all very so valid, valid points. They're all actually all very all valid. Hmm. Um, not one has not. No one's really mentioned this yet. Now, there is two phones probably out there which have a thicker, rash a bit thicker. Um, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to remember the names or the model numbers of them, particularly that are carrying DACs. So they've actually got an internal DAC on that head on the headphone jack. I can't remember what model it was. But so obviously they have a headphone port. They've got a headphone port using an actual proper DAC. So it's giving digital audio, or it's giving proper audio through the headphone jack. Most of the reasons why I personally think they've, looked, they've eliminated the issue and gone to mm. digital mm. is because they can synthesize digital sound quality a lot better, a lot quicker, and make it sound better, particularly. So now it's going to be the fight of who's got the best sound through the phone using USB Type-C. USB Type-C does carry data a lot quicker. Oh, I'm actually surprised that they haven't made headphones yet that are Type C. They that, will. But that one port that is used for everything charging, listening to yeah, headphones. Yeah, yeah. It does everything. Well, you can buy those adapters. It's got fucking like three or four mm -hmm. things coming yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, but I mean? the headphones that directly go into it. Yeah. So, and also, too, another, another, th another thing as well, the reason why they're, they're sort of eliminating it too is because it's probably about 40% of the market so far. I'm one of them, I'll be honest, yeah, that has a Bluetooth headset. So everyone's going, everyone's going wireless to wireless either way. So they're trying to eliminate that sort of sort of issue. So instead of you carrying the wires around, they're actually physically want to make. Well, Apple did this, this did it this way. Wanted yeah, to do it. Yeah, they yeah. made the the the, the pods, yep, ear pods. Yep. Google's got their own sort of ear pods now. I'll come up with what they were called. Um, I've got a set of Sennheisers as well and Plantronics headsets. So. That digital age of wireless, everything being wireless, is setting in there. But also, too, people that really want the wide headset, the USB Type C would produce, unless it's got a proper DAC inbuilt, which most likely it wouldn't, is that USB, USB Type C headset, and that will give you better sound. That's my personal opinion. I think you're but, right. I think you're right. And a couple of people guessed it too, like uh, Booster guessed it, uh, Vincent guessed it. Well, they've always guessed said it. Damo said it because the rest of them said it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Dax. So yeah, <laughs> but um, in that particular case, that's I think it's the reason why they're sort of paving that way, and also, in, in particularly with all of their um, oh god, oh, sorry, <laughs> what, what I lost. Um, it's true. Season. It's it, it's a means of getting with the times as well, isn't it? Like it's it's weird now seeing people walk around with well, you don't say people, but seeing people on social media or something that walking around with like Walkmans and stuff like that it'll be the same so one day we'll all look at the cord sorry so I've got to be that Walkmans is something from the 90s guys <laughs> if, you know, if you're born later we used to carry these little things on the side of us with tapes CDs CD play or CD well, I had a tape so I'm a bit older than oh, did you? <laughs> yeah I had tape and CDs um, so yeah if you guys don't know what a Walkman is just google that and yeah you'd be alright but they were amazing they were back they in the day. Were, they were so cool. I remember, I remember listening to them in mum and dad's car when we were driving a long trip. Mm. And uh, yeah, how when you put CDs in something and you play it, you go for a bump and yeah, the, yeah. The, the song stops. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually had a CD player. It was a cat. I think it was a Sony. If you guys are old enough, you remember this. It was a Sony one. It was like a yellow, yellow and grey, and it was a sports one. It can take the bump. Oh yeah, anti shock. It was anti shock, stuff. anti yeah. everything. Mm. Um, yeah, so it was like it was literally like it was in spins back then. Yeah, so if you have one of those and you're running, you'll be able to run. You'll be able to do whatever you want. And it was yeah, 
it was good old days. Good old days. <laughs> God. Holy moly. I really, yeah, I really I, sound old now, but yeah, so. I think it'll be the same though. <clears throat> I think one day we'll look at chords coming from people's ears and go. There you go, my first actual room was that. <laughs> oh my God. Do you think? What's that? Do you, do you think that one day we'll look at chords coming from people's ears, hanging down in their pockets and go. I think that's already. Do you think I, everything that, will move wireless? That's already happening now. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Remind me never to go for a jog yeah. in the morning with. My you are literally going to be. I reckon in about twenty years' time, you are literally going to be able to walk through the city or wherever you are in a shopping centre, and you'll be wirelessly charging everything. You you can wireless charge your phone, your your earpods or whatever it is. So you'll never run out of battery. You'll just be NFC everywhere. <laughs> so you'll be like, yep. I can walk through here. It's what's happening now already. So you'll be able to walk through a shopping center and your phone's charging while you're, while you're shopping at the same time. Definitely, that's going to happen. It doesn't sound as, as stupid as it sounds. Not, <laughs> not, not at all. I think it's actually a very good point. Mm. A very good point. Slick Flow still rock the Walkman. Watching Slick Flow's <laughs> stream, I'm not surprised. Is that like Watchman, just Walkman? Look okay, at how we spell Walkman. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'd never have one of them. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> That's a walking frame. <laughs> well, speaking of the future, since we're since we're talking about Nugget the phones tape and stuff, Lee, that Walkman is three hundred dollars on eBay now. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh my god. There, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. We've actually got an equal coming up that some, pretty much sums up the future, but we'll we'll do it later What's that? with our Samsung's new phone. Oh yes. We'll talk about that later. Talk about that later. Let's talk more about Razer. By the way, yeah, well, speaking of Razer, speaking of the Razer phone, who here is looking at buying the Razer phone when it gets released? Let us know in the chat. I know Vincent is. I am definitely going to buy one too. Vincent's going to win one. I want that 120 hertz. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it. But that I would not be using, but I, I want, want it anyway. It. So, yeah. You'll go to flick a, something off the screen. <laughs> Instead of going, eh, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'll find> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so going to buy one too. Oh, there you go. Slickface email is hot mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is so funny. Has everyone entered the PLE voucher giveaway? Thank you to PLE once again. Where are we up to? We're, up to We're a bit late with, with the whole PLE voucher thing. What? Should have given a surprise on the way before the Black Friday sales. Because then they could have got a discount and then a further discount again. We gave one last week, so if we ever won last week, which is Sarah. Which is Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Did, is Sarah, are you in here? Did you buy anything? I don't, I don't think she bought... I think she already bought something, though. Basta. Nugget, did she buy anything? She's not in here. What's that, Nugget? Do a review on the Razer phone when it comes out. Yes, <laughs> she, it will. She means the Walkman. Oh, the Walkman. <laughs> Jesus. You should do it. No. And you should put parachute pants on with a matching parachute jumper. Remember them ones? <laughs> yeah, right. the fluoro yellow or the the violet purple things that you yeah, see people yeah, running. Yeah. All right, so according to Apple, Apple will have sorry, according to Kit Guru, I should say, um, Apple will have. Thank you, <laughs> for, quite, thank you for the seventy cheers. Thank you Appreciate for the it, cheers, mate. man. <laughs> totally, totally, not, totally not a bribe. Not a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, according to Apple, we'll have more iPhone X handsets in time for Christmas, according to. Uh, He's, the iPhone X, by memory, which I'm going to price up right now, is, what, $1,800 Australian? It's a lot of cash money. Like, iPhone X. You know what? I'm not going to go through... I'm going to go straight to Apple. And what the hell is it doing that for? Okay. Zooming in. Why is it? They can't see that, yeah? No, they can't see that. <laughs> they can see this. <laughs> They can't see that. It's, so it's got, funny because it starts, it starts on 1,500. Yeah. What, what does that get you? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Scroll down a bit so I can see the phone. Who here likes the iPhone X, by the way? But, um, what is it? <laughs> um, I, I must admit, it does look nice. I, I like how the display goes all the way around the, uh, the phone. Oh, by the way, guys, if you were looking at wanting a Note 8 or an iPhone X, a very famous YouTuber is actually giving him away. He's giving away 10 each of each phone. There's $50,000 worth of phones. Who knows the name? 
Give me one second, guys. I'll let you know. Has the straw poll? Here's the straw poll for tonight. Marcus. Let us know what you think. Marcus Brownlee. I'll grab the link for you guys so you can actually have a look later on. There you go, guys. If you want to win. If you want to win. This is a worldwide competition. I'm just giving you a quick shout out. So, worldwide competition. He's giving away 10 of each. 10 of each. Yes. 10 wow. Note 8s and 10 iPhone Xs. Wow. So, yeah. We'll have to and he's giving it away on the 20... Well, Christmas Day. Christmas morning. So, it'll probably be our Boxing Day. By the time it oh, reaches yeah. us. Okay. Yep. Or like midnight for us, I think yep. it will be. So, yep. yeah. Yep. Good luck, guys. Yep. Um, so, yeah, going back to the iPhone X. So, obviously, they're going to try and pump it as much as they can out for the Christmas. Obviously, it's going to be a lot. People, a lot of people buying. We're saying Samsung it's are holding them back. What's that? Because they they obviously have their RAM and they produce stuff for them. I reckon they're holding them back. You reckon? Yeah. Give us a bit more sale. I think it's like, I'll be honest, it is a very expensive phone to produce. Yeah. So, I'm giving a bit of kudos to actually the amount of phones that's being released at the moment to actually get that far, which is fantastic. But, look, yep. look again, it's got to be, a, you know... A very expensive Christmas present for, is that for a single phone. Supply and demand for here, or is it supply and demand for US? That would be worldwide. Be worldwide. Um, so this is all said by an analyst as well. Pretty much, yeah. Ming Chi Ku. Quarter one for 2018 to fall slightly lower. So oh. they're expecting to be able to pick in during Christmas, and then after Christmas, it'll just like drop. Yep. So yep. we'll see. Yeah, so they're actually blaming in this article. They're blaming Foxconn, holding back. Yeah, there you go. So Foxconn has managed to climb from an approximate production value of fifty thousand to a hundred thousand units mm -hmm. a day uh, to four hundred and forty to five hundred and fifty thousand units per day. Yeah. Do you think that there's that many pre-orders for them? Yes. You reckon? Yeah, definitely. That's that's a lot of phones. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that's a lot it of is. phones. I'll be honest. I don't think. It was going to come at that very quick. How much are the phones? About fifteen hundred bucks. Oh, fifteen eight hundred dollars. It's a billion dollars. A billion dollars. Yep. There you go. A billion dollars out of one day's worth of phone. If they sell five hundred fifty thousand units per day. Well, not per day, but 550,000. So once they surpass that 550,000... Yeah, but that's Australian. US is like a thousand. US is a thousand dollars. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Look at that for Australian dollars. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to do the PLA giveaway. Just get that out of the way. Thank you once again to PLA. Please do not start that update now. Piss off. Windows, is, Windows 10 is trying to update during the stream. <laughs> Uh, so thank you to PLE once again for the $50 giveaway voucher. It's just been fantastic. Honestly. I really cannot appreciate PLE's generosity. Generosity. Yeah, enough, enough, enough. Uh, Obviously, we don't... most wanted for 100 cheers. Thank you very much. For thank that. Really you, mates. It. He was cheap tuning into my stream. Yes, I've seen uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm about to Thanks close the giveaway. Input, I'll, give, I'll give you guys another 15 seconds and then I'll close the giveaway and we'll uh, pick a winner. So we're basically giving you guys, uh, one person who ever wins this, we're giving you guys an excuse to get something new for your machine. Pretty much, yeah. How good is that? And also <laughs> use the PC419 VIP uh, discount code, which are they, most of the times either gives you free shipping or gives you a heavy discount on your, on your yeah, item. Depending, depending. Depending what it depending. is. And that's all, there's no, that's not an affiliate code for PC419, so I get nothing from that. It'll, the, whole, the full discount does go to you guys, so... And I'm pretty sure yeah. once you guys log in, so for those who haven't used it before, once you log in and go to the cart mm -hmm. and you enter it, it actually puts it onto your account. Exactly. So, yeah. so when you log in, your account is VIP, uh, VIP priced from then on. You don't have on to everything. Keep, you don't have to keep entering. It actually tells you. I think it tells you when you go to when you get to a page. It actually tells you your your price. Yep. Yep. So it'll show you. Uh, It'll show you the the in big writing on the website. It'll show you the to the cost of the actual item, mm -hmm. um, but then it'll tell you underneath uh, you saved da 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 da. So it, much, it, yeah. it'll show you that every time you log in after after using the PC four yeah. nine VIP exactly code on right. checkout. Exactly right. Do you want me to All give right, it, give away a game, guys? Go. <laughs> we will do giveaway. 
That was so mine. going back to the straw poll, so do you think air coolers will be scarcely available in the future? Because all in ones and expandable liquid coolers will potentially become the standard thing. I we were discussing that just before the just before the show. I personally think they will. I've got a real it's got a feeling now. Thank you, Hostess Radio, for the Thank you, Hostess host. Radio, thank you. Um I personally think that's well, how, how many people with um, decent systems do you see nowadays that have air cooling? Very rare. I know, I know for one, if somebody comes into um, my store and asks to, to purchase a computer and they go and put uh, fruity bits in it, they don't put an air cooler on it. It's just an all-in-one? Yeah, yeah. Just a nice, or, a nice or custom, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they, look, end of the day, I think air cooler is going to be finished, but the, you get your pros and cons. So, it depends on the humidity where you are as well. So... If you're, is it high humidity or low humidity? High, I think it's high humidity. Yep. You need air cooling. Mm-hmm. It's it's more beneficial. Yep. Um, but water cooling is just too efficient now. When they first came out, they weren't as good. I've been, uh, when I first when I first when I first all the models. Oh, yeah, there was, there was a lot of R and D that went into it. Was, it was yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the rides weren't built properly, or the pumps failed within months. Um, have you pumps, ever, ever seen flows. ever seen an AIO fail? Yes. You have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I saw my first one. Three weeks, fail. three weeks ago. Yeah. What do you mean? What what it do? Leak. Oh, leaks. Oh, yeah, I've seen leaks. Yeah. I've seen leaks. I've never seen one. Oh, never. Not to diss the brand. To be honest, back in the day, a lot of the more take all in ones were leaking for us. Um, but is, it was, is that something that they, that they rectified? Was, yeah, it was yeah. rectified. It was a bad batch, but they went through a lot of PCs because we had like three in two months come through, and it was a manufacturing fault. And they had to fix it's it. It's actually weird because the one that I saw that leaked three weeks ago, it, it was some sort of oil inside them. I don't, I don't know what they use, what they fill them with. Mm-hmm. But um, it had actually leaked on the graphics card because obviously it's right underneath it. Yeah, yeah. But the graphics card and the port were fine. And it had the, the residue in it, in the in actual PCIe port. Probably non-conductive. Slot. Yeah, which is good. If I make them like that, it's good. Yeah. That's good. It was like a greeny well, colour. The ones I had. The ones I had were, yeah. That leaked and short the system out. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. but they but they fixed it, which is good. Um, but like I said, going back to what we were saying, I really do think that it's going to be, um, it's going to get into. What can I still hear? Um, yeah, water cooling is going to be the new norm. It's well, it, Mate, is, oh, it is a new norm. I should most say. definitely. But yeah. then you got um, different kinds of products, like you got um, Cooler Masters. What have they got? Cooler Master just released an, uh, an all-in-one oh, no, cooler, cooler yes. I've actually, I've with actually, a fan I've and a heatsink on it. So it's a it's an air cooler, but it's a water cooler too, and it sits on top of the processor like a like an air cooler would. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, there it is. There. Yep, the Master Liquid Maker. Master Liquid Maker. That's it. Yeah. So then there's that option as well, and it's 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 affordable. It's ninety nine dollars. It's a looking. It's a really really small all-in-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a. Um, I think it's 120 mil. Yeah, but see, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Like, I'll grab it now. I'll put it in yeah. the link for you guys. Somebody so said something a second ago. Who was it? Booster Kane says, "Does anyone remember Vapor Chill? Do you remember Vapor Chill? Yes, I do. They made cases, didn't they? They were re- uh, refrigerated cases, cool mm-hmm. cases. Acetec Vapor Chill. I've seen one. I never built in one." You ever built one? one? No, I haven't. No, no? I haven't got you to build one. They were the bees knees back in the day. So this is the uh, cool that Matt is talking about, which is I actually saw this uh, yeah. Computex. It's very interesting. That's pretty honest. revolutionary. It's not the best looking product. It's not. No. Like for, but a you set, can, for aesthetics, but it can be flipped up. You can spin that. Yeah. That can be spun. So oh, you can, okay. Spin it up. Okay. You, okay. Can, you can you can make it. Yep. So it's um, yep. pushing up. Vertical. But very innovative. It is. Now, yeah, that's the only one of its kind. I haven't seen anything else like that. So you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. You okay. Up. So, if, so if, that's if good. It's a low profile case. Yeah, you yeah. Do yeah. It. So you can actually Or if it. you've got a case that's got induction fan from the side, you can just suck it up. Yep. Yeah. Cool. 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 There you go. Look at that. There you go. That's actually really, really good. I should might speak to Cool Master and see if we can get one of those. Only issue that I would have with that though is how does that go with um, RAM that's not low profile? That's the thing. I yeah. think the complaint was with that. I mean, I, saw I mean, the video. it's thin, but you wouldn't be able to turn it on the fly, would you? Because it'd hit the RAM. You'd you'd have to. It, oh, it depends. It, it, it depends would where you only place go it. vertical. Yeah, but it depends where you place it. 
Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. But I know what you're saying. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, no one asked you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was reading the comments. Um, yeah. So this is going to be. Um, yeah. I'll, ask, I'll actually ask Cool Mask for one of these. Hopefully, it's. I wouldn't mind seeing it. And you know what? That sort of cooler there is actually like really good for a test bench. Yes, because you don't have to mount a rad yeah. somewhere. Because remember now, I've got my test bench. I've got the um, premature. Oh, not premature. Yeah, premature. Fuck, it's cool. Whatever. My test bench at the moment. If I knew what you were saying, I'd help you. My test bench. <laughs> the XSPC rad. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. Re removing all that and just having that sort of cool type, you know. But then again. It depends what your application's for. So if you're doing hive or clocking, I don't think that will handle. Yeah, when it, when it first came out, I remember reading reviews on it. It's it's not as it's a bit better than an air cooler. Yeah, it's, it's nothing special, you know. But well, something to do a quick to, test to, on. To, I'm pretty sure. It'll be yeah, fun. to be able to put all of that technology into that thing that bolts onto the CPU. Uh, big yes, win. we are on big win. This speed we're paying for a lunch. Okay, they're still talking about NBN. <laughs> <laughs> it's all NBN. It's all about the NBN. Well, now that we're on that topic, actually, Telstra changed their speeds, haven't they? Have they? Yes. I don't really, I don't really care. They don't offer 140 anymore. What the hell? 60, 60, 40. Oh, really? 60, yeah, because no, nope, apparently most of the customers can't even hit that. So they've actually lowered their plans now. If you go onto their yeah. website, 60 is the highest you yeah. can go on. Uh, actually, my wireless NBN is the same boat now. It used to do 50 50 or 150. Now it's. 50-20. So. Promising things that you can't get. Yeah, I know. But look, I'll be honest, my Wallace NBN uh, called Melbourne ISP, they've actually been really, really great here. They've actually tried to get my Wallace NBN running. We had it running for a good two weeks, which was pretty good speed, I must say. But then, yeah, some douche <laughs> behind the studio decided to put uh, wireless, wireless extenders and he's pretty much and he's on 5G as well is he <laughs> yeah so he's up put a router of wallox and is behind me and now it's blocking my signal it's yes. pretty it's pretty funny guys if you rock up to uh, where Lee's situated hey short stuff and you look on his roof like I'll have a giggle every single time I come here yeah because you, you, you just look and on the roof because it's he's like ET because he's on wireless it looks like a, it looks like a um looks like a, it looks like a broomstick a salad bowl with a, with a, with a quidditch ball on the top yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much yeah <laughs> That's right. and, and it's how, how big is it? Six foot. For, no, we're up three meters. Three, yeah, three meters. We're three three meters, meters high. Three meters. So there's this big pole. It makes me laugh every time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the favoured, yes. We've tried every single channel on the planet. Trust me, we've done everything. We've channel hopped. We're, when we channel hopped, it actually worked. For Quaffle. <laughs> yes, exactly. Sorry? Quaffle, says our Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you haven't done one thing. What's you haven't gone down to where this guy is and... I plugged his modem. Well, a modem mine actually had <laughs> a. Um, it was like a wireless disruptor. They use it at they use it at, um, at primary schools and high schools for their wireless. So if the, the kids are try to run their own hotspots, it disrupts that hotspot. Oh really? So I don't know if he's still got it because we can disrupt his signal behind us. Hopefully. Can't, can't you just go and wrap his house in tinfoil? Well, we don't know what it is. We don't, oh. we don't. We don't know which house it is. It's going to be someone close, but we don't know which one it is. But yeah, it's... It just happens to be that house that's in direct line of sight with the tower. It is, yeah. 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 He's right above it. Yeah, it always happens like that. Um, yeah, so it's got to be some sort of house. But anyway, we'll see. But yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it can't happen. But yeah, when we do move into the new studio, we'll be having MBN. A lot better speeds. FTTP? Yes. yes. FTTP, yes. Thank God. Thank, Thank God, God for that. I really cannot wait to actually stream. I actually wanted to sit there and stream my own games, to be honest. Oh well, yeah, it's um, something I'm being meant to do. Dud dud. All right, so I'm gonna give. I'm gonna do the giveaway for the PLE. All right, if you haven't jumped in, five seconds left. Quick, Four, quick, quick, guys! Quick, 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 three, quick, quick. Three, two, one, and give the post. winner is dun, ba, da, da. Aussie Damn Nation. Congratulations, mate! Damn freaking nation. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations, Ozzy. You won a PLE voucher. <laughs> wow, yes. He <laughs> says. <laughs> Just PM me on Facebook, please, and I'll send you the voucher code. At least I do it for a reason this time. Yeah. True. 
What's that? Messaged you yesterday. You're saying hi. <laughs> <Is it right? laughs> you make me laugh, Ozzy. You make me laugh. Congratulations, man. You won yourself a fifty dollars PLE voucher. All right. So a new giveaway coming up, which is the PC Four One Nine Destiny giveaway. Thank Ooh. you to PLE once again. Copy of Destiny, peeps. On PC. On, on PC. On PC. Yes. Did it come through? It hasn't popped up yet. Mm-hmm, it's popped up. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's popped up. It's popped up. Has yeah, it popped up, guys? Good, yes, good it has. Yep, there we go. There we go. Who, um, want, who wants to win a copy? And if you do own it, you know, if you do own it and you win it, you have the choice to pick anyone in the chat if you do want to give it away. You know? If you do. Up to you. If you don't want to, you can give it to your brother's cousin's uncle's sister. Father's if you auntie. Want. Yeah. It's up to you. Entirely up to you. Uh, quick sponsor shout for tonight as well. Thank you to PLE Computers for obviously for the fifty dollar giveaway, fifty dollar voucher giveaway, the Destiny giveaway, battle chairs, cool masks for all the gear they give us, two PC for one, and talking tech, and at the moment the MSI laptop GT seventy five VR. Shipping times have now decreased from five to six weeks down to just one to two weeks wait for the uh, iPhone X because they've made quadruple, quadruple the amount in a day. It's good. Yeah, do it, Twitchy. But hey, look, it's the only thing that you can enter because you live in freaking New Zealand and you can't win something physical. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's you, may, it. you may as well enter it. <clears throat> All right, so um, we're going to jump onto this topic, but before we jump onto that, I'm going to say something quickly first. Is it in here? All right. So, the last couple of weeks, we've been having the PC for one on customs for CSGO. That has now ended. How good is that? It is. How good is that? They used to be called X, but now they're named Team PC 419. Josh, what did X stand for? X was short for something. What did it stand for? We have to commend Josh as well. Yes, Josh... Has, Josh A in the chat. Josh guys. A in the chat is the um, he's actually hitting the CSGO side. Without him, honestly, he's been fantastic. He has like, been really good. Really, Very good really, coordination. Really, oh, his coordination's been fantastic. Yeah, even yeah. Also, like even with, even with the South yeah. League of Legends. Yeah. League of Legends sort of on the up and down at the moment because they haven't been many players been trying to join. League of Legends is a bit weird, so I'll I'll, I'll mention it because Vincent's in here and he's pretty keen. So yeah. I had a lot of people this week. Exodus. Um, Eximus, that's what they stand for. There you go. Um, yeah, I had a lot of people this week who, <coughs> obviously, a couple of weeks ago when we started advertising for it, I had so much interest it wasn't funny, and I'll be honest, about three quarters of them have messaged me saying that they can't, okay. due to commitments, or I've had some people say they're going away for Christmas, okay. even though it's freaking November, start of December. Yep. Um, so whether we extend the customs, mm-hmm. which we might have to, we'll run them sort of all the way through Christmas. It's a hard time at the moment because mm-hmm. of, because of Christmas, but um. We'll, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. So, I will be, hopefully, within the next 48 hours, I will lock in a PUBG private server, and then we're going to actually have our own PUBG team as well. There you go. There so you PUBG go. PUBG customs. So, those who, are, those who are waiting. There you go. I'm waiting on a particular person to get back to me regarding to the private server. If we can get the private server going, and it's going to be running for us, then, yes, we'll definitely have the PC419 um customs for you know yep getting ready for yep. 2018 really we're actually we're not in that much of a rush are we not really we're, no, we're, we're not. we were lucky enough and with all the rigorous uh customs that we went through with uh csgo and stuff like that yeah. eximus ex team pc 419 i don't know what they're called now yep but they sort of they they, they came in here mm-hmm from and, from, from, from and the they go. kept it they, they, they were consistent that was a team well even when i watched them play um brings back memories uh, when I watched them play, they were here from the start to actually win every single game. I'll be honest; like I do feel, I do feel for the for the team they did play. You know? Oh, they played well. Uh, they played but well. that it was literally like ten nil, fourteen nil, fifteen one, fifteen three. You know, eight one at one stage. It was yeah, they played really well. And they came in, they came in to win, and that's what they did. So, hopefully, um, you know, Team PC four one nine 
those places, which would be great. Um, and hopefully we'll get to meet them as well. We'll try and yeah, do something yeah, with them. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely. We'll get a bit of a, a, a bio going for them as well. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely. So you guys can check out exactly who they are, yeah. their background, what they've done. Mm-hmm. Um, get some t-shirts happening. Yep. And you get to meet them too. So join our Discord channel. So they're always in a Discord some now. Merch, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So you You'll notice them. They've all to changed hello. their icons to... Yeah, they're all the PC4 the and PC4 icons, icons which is great. So, so yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to Team PC419 and welcome aboard. That's it, that's it. The next LOL thing O, Jaden Rin, is supposed to be this Friday. So depending on the turnout, we'll run it. But yeah. I need to have 10 people at least. At least 10 uh, people. So yeah. we'll see Obviously. to run one game. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Is League actually still up there um, in Twitch? Yep, yeah, most certainly is. Yeah? Yep, most certainly is. So at the moment now, who's winning? League of Legends has 85,000 yep. player. That's PUBG has 55. Dota's got 32. Do you know at one stage, uh, Fortnite was above PUBG? Was it? Yeah. It's and actually another game coming World into the mix. World of Warcraft was like literally fourth at one stage. Was so. it? Yeah. They jump. They jump. It IRL surprisingly holds its weight. It's, am- it's amazing the amount of people that stream IRL. And just do... And, g- and get viewers for talk- sit talking and- crap and... Oh, yeah. well, some people like that though. Some some people just want to sit there and just have a chat. Yeah. With a with a, with a YouTuber or yeah. with a Twitch with a yeah. Twitch user. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's one of those things as yeah. well. Screamers, how you doing, mates? How's things? Welcome. Yeah. So once again, congratulations to Team PC Four One Nine. It'll be interesting to see see where they go. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Cannot wait. Um, what was I up to next? I actually brought it up. I'm trying. There we go. Don't forget, guys, the giveaway for Destiny 2 is up. It's hashtag PC419Destiny. Hashtag PC419Destiny, guys, if you want to enter to win a free copy of Destiny 2. Which, funnily enough, for adjusting their microtransaction system. Yes. So, Gigabyte launches its X29 Aorus Gaming 7 Pro. If you're looking for a Christmas tree, you have one right here. <laughs> It does look pretty good though, I'll be honest, it does look. I love these shields. These shields that, that, that the at Goros or Gigabyte are actually doing currently now, I love it. I've got the um, Gaming Ultra currently on the test bench, which is now my test bench motherboard. Thank you to Gigabyte. So thank you to they have guys. rectified the hot VRM issue, I think. With the look heat at sink. that freaking heatsink. They have. <laughs> that is humongous. Like humongous. What are the specs? I can't see the specs in this one. Just looking by looking at the picture, mm-hmm. uh, we can see two eight phase, uh, two eight phase, two eight pin power connectors. Yes, which is must must, must, must be hefty. Yeah, offering decent overclocks. Supporting its new seventy nine or the Core i nine seventy nine eighty XC, which obviously, well, wouldn't it? Support. Comes with M dot two heatsink straight from the box, so yeah. there's no need to go out and buy them. Which that they look pretty good. It does it does? They look pretty good. Uh, we got here twelve phase power f- or well, twelve power phases, which can provide up to sixty amps. This is an overclocking beast. Mm, yeah. So yep. LN two, definitely hand, definitely handle LN two power at it. Look at that. Um, what else is there? I think that's predominantly what it's made for. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. I'm pretty sure Dino had his hands on this one. <laughs> it's undoubtedly meant for high end users. Of course. Yep. So obviously, people don't know who LN2 is. LN2 is liquid nitrogen. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen that, where it's pouring in the LN2, liquid nitrogen into the CPU with a pot. Uh, we actually had a bit of a small thing, a bit of a thing on that with uh, with PAX. Uh, the new video will be coming out hopefully next week on that one. So it'll be a PAX gathering. Um, I've actually got a Cooler Master special as well. So it's literally just Cooler Master. There should be, I think there's four videos on that. We've separated because there's about 25 minutes of footage it's in bit, one video. The so, bit where... They poured LN2 in your hand, you started crying. Did you Pretty cut, much, yeah. Did yeah. You cut, cut yeah. that out? Yeah, yeah well, I cut right. that out, yeah. Well, remember when it hit my foot? It was it, it, fro- <laughs> it froze, it actually froze my foot. Oh, it froze my, my um. If it hits your hand, the asset of your hand doesn't freeze. But if it hits like your, your top or hits your, like, your shoe, it but freezes you, that if, if you pour LN2 directly on your skin, it doesn't affect it. It doesn't affect it at but all. But if you're wearing a glove and yes. you pour LN2 on your glove, it burns your hand. Yes, it does. Yep. Yep. So when it when when Dino poured it, and it oh he was pouring it into, he was pouring it into his into that thermos, and it's spilling everywhere, <laughs> and it literally got all over my foot, and my shoe started to freeze up the right hand side of my shoe, and I could feel it on my toe. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> was it burning? And um, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, 
But it's good. So if anyone does LN2 in the yeah. future or anything, if they touch it, do not wear clothes. Yeah. Do not wear... LN2. Sorry, naked. do not it's wear protection. <laughs> Sorry, naked. Just do it, do it naked. <laughs> <laughs> do it in your birthday suit. Yeah, exactly. exactly right. <laughs> so what we are, I am looking at doing, um, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a heads up. PC41 will be doing an LN2 special. So I've got a, well, I'm in the mix. So does that mean that they'll see you in a birthday suit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm in the mix of actually getting a LN2 professional here as well, doing the, um, doing all this, doing the, all the LN2. So he'll cook. basically go through and give, well, us a, give us some insight as to, as to exactly how, how it works, works, what it's, you know, what it's supposed to be, how far can you overclock and maybe, maybe even try and get an overclocking record. Here at the PC Four One Studio, how good would that be? I don't care if I hold. We can for, try. I don't care if I hold for ten seconds. I'm just gonna just put it on here, saying "bang," we've got a record here <laughs> at PC Four One Nine, and that's it. So yeah, hopefully. Always break. You, you, it, that, that's how it works anyway. When you break records, you break them for like half an hour. Well, I think when um, they broke the record out that night, that Saturday night, it was for like an hour or two. Yeah. And that was yeah. it. And then it got broken again. Jay's I think, two cents I got, think Kingpin got broken. Jay's two cents got Kingpin himself from EGVA, EVGA to break the record at Jay's two cents studio. Yes. And then Jay logged in on his account and submitted it. So, yes, he did. so it was his over. Yeah, yeah, he took it. He took that, yeah. I'll, I'll, be, doing, I'll be doing the same thing, don't worry. <laughs> And, and, you know what's even funnier? Mm -hmm. He forgot his main account, so he had to do it on his backup account. Oh, so really? It was, like, it, was, it was Jay's two cents backup. Or he named his account something weird. Oh, it God. was funny. It was funny. It was funny. Alan to make up the Tory with Gaming. What do you think you've got makeup on? I don't know. Do I look, do good? I look good tonight? I must. I you must. must. I must think you got makeup on. I look pretty. But do you know, look, the video, what the camera produces to what it actually is in real life, <laughs> it's completely <laughs> so yeah. Jay's third scene. It's weird. It's weird because Lee actually has hair. Yeah, you just can't see it. The, the, the camera just doesn't pick I've up. I've got dreadlocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kingpin did actually break that record. So he actually went as soon as he yeah, video, yeah yeah Kingpin broke it because Jay, so. Jay said on uh, on the video. Yeah, he said he'll probably go home and break it. And yeah, he did. <laughs> it was funny. So yeah, we have um. So this has multiple. Another thing to note as well on this board is it has multiple addressable um, RGB headers. Mm -hmm. You know how most boards only have one yep. or two? This one has, I think, three Multiple, or four. Yeah. So, literally a Christmas tree, like Lee said. Pretty much. Pretty much. You got dual LAN as well. Dual LAN, did yes. You, did you have a bridge? Your your, um, your old school x 58 boards? No. I bridged mine. They actually did make a difference. Really? It did, yeah. So you can dedicate um, up and down, mm -hmm. and it does help with your ping. Especially with, well, when I was playing Counter-Strike Source, or... The other games. I like can them. imagine in this day and age with the gigabit, it the, would the make killer, a big it would make a massive difference. It make a big difference, yeah. 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 It would. Why is everyone hashtagging Mrs. PC4 and Mrs. Data? <laughs> what? <laughs> everyone loves Mrs. Data. She's a, she's a big presence on. Uh, Who on, is Mrs. Data? On the Twitch. I'm very, I'm very curious. Who are you? A lovely person. We'll, we'll leave it yes. at that. Alias left unsaid. <laughs> Alias left unsaid. All right, so don't forget, guys, the giveaway for Destiny, hashtag PC419 Destiny. We'll be giving away that very, 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 very soon. Let's go on to the gaming side. Let's, let's talk I PUBG. I was actually jumping on that right now. Let's talk PUBG. Or let's not talk PUBG. Bum, bum, bum. Let's talk about something that requires last maybe one, last kill one. PUBG, PUBG. Last one, last one, last one. I really can't believe this is actually true. What the hell is that? That's not it. I said the last one. That was the last That's one. The, there's four after. Oh. <laughs> Two. I apologize. <laughs> now, who here has heard of Europa? It is... God. It is a battle royale game with destructible environments from a Chinese firm Tencent. There's a funny story about this. Should we play the video? There's the, a funny so story. So they can see it. Yeah, so this is direct direct competitors to Player Unknown. Player Unknown. Let's check it out. You want to play the actual did the audio?
So what do you think, guys? Direct this competitor to PUBG. PUBG may be in trouble, I think. Oh, I think they will be. As soon as this gets released, are you I talking about will be. PUBG will be the will be the game that's 1060, 1070 have, like that sort of low end. Now, this game will also be like the high end people who've got really good GPUs, or graphics cards, I should say, um, that want to play a game that is PUBG, that can play, looks really, really good. But Destructible my, world. But the, the, that's, that's, what, cool. that's what I love about it. Because obviously when he, sh- when he was shooting at the wall, the wall was actually... Obviously when you've got an M16 or you've got an M4 and you start shooting at something, it's going to start breaking whatever it's shooting at, you know, at the, in, a real, in a realistic way. And that's what it showed there. The game looks really really well optimized. I really I think it'd, it'd be it. interesting to see how uh, Blue Hole react to this. But uh, interesting, interesting. Mm-hmm. If you read the article down further... Bunnings. Uh, Bun- which, is, which is Bunnings. Bunnings, yep. Yeah. So if you okay. read Bunnings. <laughs> um, so the firm that makes this game, which mm-hmm. is Tencent. Yes. Uh, Tencent is currently trying to buy Player Unknown's Battlegrounds developer Blue Hole and has secured the rights to publish this game in China because there was a the big kerfuffle with PUBG in China and hackers and stuff. Yep. So these, these have actually got approved. Um, but they're trying to buy Blue Hole. For outside China. I don't know why. It's uh, exactly what it says here. Mm-hmm. Europa today uh, promises underwater exploration, environmental kills, and paragliding. 100 players drop into a map, same sort of thing. Is it, but is it paragliding from the plane or the paragliding because you can just grab a paragliding and go? Yeah, I'm not sure. We're we're looking, not sure. We, s- into that. we saw it there for a second. Oh, I saw it for a second, mm-hmm. but is, it, is that how you land? That's, uh, that's how maybe, that, maybe that is how you land. Instead of the parachute, you, use you paraglide. paraglide. That Therefore, would be you can go up, anywhere on the map. Pretty much. Yeah. Anywhere on the map. Because as soon as you pick up a bit of wind, if yep. there's wind, yep. you can go wherever you want. That's good but bad because when you play PUBG, the idea is to drop quickly so you can start looting before others do. Well, maybe if you paraglide... You can start shooting them out from here. <laughs> there you go. The beta starts for this game in December. But in China. In December. I've actually got a friend of mine in China, so I might ask him to um, let us know how he goes. Even get some proper footage from there, so we'll see. But direct competitor to PUBG. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, is that so you can market their game in the USA or other countries? PC? No, um, no, it's pretty much... They're trying to. She's asking if they, if they buy if they buy the you know blue hole. If they can, will be able to market this game outside of China. Well, blue hole is not existent anymore. No, it's not. It's because blue hole is now a PUBG company. That's right. It's a corporation, a company. So I don't know. But will they be sued? I'm pretty sure the reason why it's probably it's in China because it's so exactly like. Well, Fortnite's exactly like PUBG as well. Yeah, but didn't so that's another contradictory thing. Didn't PUBG because of all the killing and stuff? Isn't that why it got banned from China? No, nah, um, this more looks like how much money did you have? PUBG didn't have enough money to put in China. This guy had more money. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Think about it. It's a, it's a communist country to one. But maybe. if I give you a million dollars to bring PUBG in and then this game comes in and says, you know what, I'm going to give you $10 million, uh, yeah, your game comes in first. Yeah, I, th- I thought China banned PUBG too. It wasn't right. because of the killing. No. Because I thought it was for the violence. That's, that's, oh, it wasn't that's, for that. that's what I thought. Guaranteed. But what do you guys think? Honestly, it's going to be one of those games where you know, it's um going to be a very good competitor. Well, obviously in China, but competitor if it comes out, it'd be interesting. If it gets released to the world, because they were, they were talking about making PUBG an esport as well. Hence why we're following through with it. Exactly right. Yeah. What happens if this game comes out? It's better. They go, are they going to eat their words and retract PUBG and chuck this game in? I don't think they will. To be honest, I think PUBG's got it's got a, it's got a spare mark into it. Yeah. Even though this game may look better, but um, obviously for now, PUBG, for now. PUBG is probably investing a lot into esports at the for moment, now. which I may you know put more yep. into it. Yeah. I still say 2018, 2019. MOBA is going to be heavy into esports. You're going to see people without PCs, just fucking phones. Yep. You know, yep. playing like League yep. of Legends game, whatever yep. that's called. Like, yep. I can that will be the new the new thing for yep. esports. Yep. But I don't think it will um, get far into it. Yep. Did we do the straw poll? We did, but I didn't say what it was. We didn't. We didn't click on the vote to see what people oh, thought. Like, Guys, if you haven't voted on the straw poll now. Uh, you so can... going back to the question, do you think air coolers will be scarcely available in the future because all in ones are expandable? Liquid look coolers will potentially become the new the standard thing. Let's have a look and see what you guys. I'm going to say yes. 
because our discussion was yeah. that prior. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ooh. There you go. Okay. We'll keep that running for another two minutes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. People still voting. Hang on. Yeah, I'm still keep running. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Now, now it's turning right. I'll add the straw poll into the chat as well. Just so you want to put in there. Right above my one. Right above your one. So I didn't see it. Do <laughs> apologize. That's all good. Man. There you go. Let it up a bit more. And we do have the last giveaway. So our giveaway for the Destiny 2. So hashtag PC41 and Destiny. If you haven't done it, I'm going to give you another 15 seconds. 20 seconds, actually. 20 seconds. Let's go. 20 seconds. Hashtag PC419 Destiny. Okay. Well, it's, it's actually starting to jump a bit more back and forward again. Outback Kanga says no people are worried about leakage. Like I said, I, I, I install. This I probably means- install four or five coolers a week. And I've only ever seen one leak, and that was the other day. Well, look, I've probably installed about four hundred. After after, after the that brand fiasco, I should say. Um, after that, I didn't I didn't get any leakage. So, <laughs> out back, you're fine. Was it dry? Was it? It was dry. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, out back, you're fine. If you want to go all in one, go all in one. You have no issues. But for where you are, I don't th- I don't think air, air cooling probably suited for where you live. So. Yeah, but you need high high flow air cooling. Like the H- I, hi- I highly like recommend the H500P. Like the H500P, yes. <laughs> the best case for airflow. So that's going to be a bit of a mix. So that theme I'll be doing with the case, you're going to be, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. They guessed it before. And I'm going to, did they? Dini said Barbie. Oh, really? That's, that is, yeah, you're right, mate. Pink, pink, mate. I'm closing the giveaway and going to pick the winner. And congrats to... Mr. Data. Mr. Data. Mr. Data 2000, you have won yourself a copy of Destiny. Congratulations. Congratulations, mate. What's it saying the following? Following what? It doesn't know what's... Oh, I didn't see what the prize was. Where is he? Where is he? Mr. Data, speak up. Mr. Data. Will forever hold your peace. Where are you, man? You are welcome. Uh, PM, please. Well, oh, I'm going to find out who the hell it is now. PM, <laughs> I, um, PM on Facebook and I'll uh, send you the code as soon as possible. Congratulations. Congratulations, mate. You deserve it. Thank you. Thanks for entering. Thank you, everyone, for entering. Yes. Um, I think that's it for tonight. We've gone through pretty much all our, all our topics. We've got a few more topics, but we'll probably transfer them over to next week. If it's still going, if not, we'll die some <laughs> pick our new topics. But this week's um, been a bit weird. Like the week of, sorry, I said we'll start again. This week's to- this week's tech news hasn't really not in, much not much going on. No, pretty much no. all of the uh, shows of this week was yeah. I don't th- oh, I don't know how well, half the shows were talking. About, We're gonna honest. have to start doing what awesome hardware do and do a space uh, section. Space section. Talk, <laughs> about, talk about NASA and planets and stuff. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what about what about my channel review? Your <laughs> channel flow. review. Um, Slickflow's yeah, channel. Wanna... I'll do a quick shout out to Slickflow as well. He's, he's, awesome he's a he's a character guy. He's a he's a character, and all of my obviously sponsored uh, streamers as well. You know, you got Silent Gaming, you got Ozzy, you got Centurion, <laughs> you've got Charlie as well. Um, maybe a few more coming up in the next couple of months. We should see. Hopefully, we should see more. Uh, Booza, shove the seat for a second, so everyone can see the PC. Yes. So this here, guys, that's the giveaway for December. That's yeah, PC Four oh, Nine's um, PC NB. See if you can see it properly here. There you go. So this is the PC that somebody will be taking home two days after Christmas. Yes, you will. It's so looking pretty good, actually. I think it's looking great. It's looking great. Chuck some RGB fans in. So RGB the world. You can't have it any other way, can you? No, you can't. No. So we'll, we will power up the system. We'll fully test it. Make sure everything's working all right. You know, go from there. The reason why we haven't as yet. Um, we explained it before but there's new people in now yeah. is because the cooler sitting up there we're finalising the review PC Fine and I are still yet to review so yeah. we'll finalise that chuck it once in once it's finalised it will be running and going it's somebody's trying to catch up but thank you once again to everyone who's actually come here in the chat um, and also congratulations whoa to the winners. step back step back step back what Busa Kane that's a mad giveaway a whole PC nice work guys yes does that mean that you haven't entered it that means you haven't entered it you need to enter it so be giving away a whole computer man I'll, Did you, you, I'll shoot you the link. Lee's going to put the link in the chat now for you to see. For anyone to see, if you haven't entered, please do. Please do. There is the the giveaway there. Statics, enter it too, mate. Click on the link. Uh, follow the Gleam. How many entries are there now? 
I will show you in a second. There you go. So I'm you'll spamming my own chat. So you'll be able to see. <laughs> ah, he's not kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so anyone who has a, a shitty Christmas, something happens, you know, all well, down, you upset, you never they know. win it. Life changing. And yeah. mind you guys, this is only Australia, so there's not a worldwide. So it's Australia only. So you've got a very, 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 very good chance of winning. Yep. Here we go. So we've got 16,980 entries. Wow. 28 days left. Wow. 28 you, days. Yep, I you, started that at 40. Yep. Give you a quick rundown. So it has the i5 8600K, the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Game Motherboard, 16 gig of 3200 Avexa Blitz DDR4. Which you can't get anymore. Which you cannot get no more. So that's that's rare. Um, now to power the system up to actually run this graphics as hard as possible, it's going to be the Galaxy GDX 1070 EX Edition. And we have the Antec Edge 750 Wasn't there something you're going to do with that? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Um, 120 gig, 120 gig Avexa S100 SSD, which has been a fantastic SSD as well. That Can't get them. That, and it lights up as Can't well. Can't get them. Can't get them anymore. Can't get them. And the Antec Mercury 240, which is back there. And we have the cool. Now, obviously, we have to do a keyboard on mouse. We can't have it without a keyboard on mouse. I wasn't going to do it at the start, but you know what? Spoke to Cool Master, Tom and I was doing, and they were very happy to give us the Master Set 1. They came along. Let's take it out and have a look. Yeah. I'll bring it behind it. Nothing fall. Yeah, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You can hold it up. Yeah, cool. So we've got the Master Set MS121 as well. So, yes. Keep it on mouse. Hopefully, that, hopefully they're all good. Um, what if I pay for shipping to New Zealand, Spanky? To be honest, I don't know how it would handle the shipping to New Zealand. Not that I don't want to ship it, but the actual shipping itself, like breakage, I'm worried about, to be honest. I this is a big thing for us, yeah? This, yeah? this is a big thing. We'll be very upset if it gets to the customers and it's broken. Broken. Or something <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully not, but you never know. Um, yeah, yeah, hopefully. I can't, obviously, I cannot. What, Oz Post or which one was it? That's the mem, mem mechanical. There's, there's your mem mechanical, uh, Vince. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Yeah, and day, tax. Tax will be a killer. Pretty much, yeah. But look, it'll be, cheap, be, it'll be cheaper than buying a PC, obviously. But there you go. How cool is the crowd? I'm, I'm um, an assailant. Hashtag I'm an assailant. So, so there you go, guys. So um, yeah, <laughs> if you can. If you can hashtag Red Bull on the P Red Bull Red Bull Red Bull <laughs> Red Bull on the PC four one nine group, do hashtag PC four one nine Red Bull. Um, if you could do that on the and the PC four one nine group, be fantastic. Or anywhere actually, really. This shit's gonna kill me. It is gonna kill us. Got two of buzz off my head now. It's gonna kill me. I'm not, um, not going to bed tonight. Now, just a disclaimer. <laughs> please do read the disclaimer when you're entering. You must hit every single one of these points to be a valid entry i know some of you might see it as a pain in the ass but do you understand you are going through a p it's a bolt off entire pc so and it's 1440p capable definitely you know so you're looking at an i5 comparable of an it's, it's not, long K. story short it's not it's not a small giveaway it's and not, no, it's all not. of the uh, companies and stuff that have come along with this they deserve some recognition of course they do yeah so they make great products which you see here yeah and PC four nine as well. Look, that, uh, for me to actually um, get a hold of all these products for you guys as well, for our viewers yeah. and pe people following PC four one nine, I understand that not everyone could be watching Talking Tech on a Tuesday night. You know, some people do have stuff to do, but they still follow the channel. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it's only a, you know exactly. I'll, I'll be actually just reading nuggets. Yeah, yeah, that's it's that's right. Like, it takes, takes two minutes of your of yeah. your life to click on something and enter it. Exactly right. To no. win to win so, a two and a half thousand dollar PC. I, I know for a fact that not everyone's actually doing every single one of them because it should count of what what actually's gone into what's been done, you know. So I'm hoping that the winner, because I will, will be validating it. Because once you, if I hit the winner and you haven't done it all, unfortunately you just don't win. And I'm going to be saying that every talking tech, you must select every single option on there to be a valid entry. I'm not going to just say yep, select one and then you know. Hope how, for the best. how shitty would you feel? Of if, course, like, if you didn't click on visit Galax. Exactly, yeah. But the thing is, too, you, you got to understand as well, you guys here that have actually selected every single one of them, and then one person doesn't do it, selects one, and he wins, or he or she wins. That's unfair. It's because, unfair because you guys went and clicked on exactly everything. Right, exactly. and yeah. So I, um, I was very stringent about this, and I said, you know what? Put it in the disclaimer that you must follow, like, it's, it's, and subscribe it's not to every, every day, single one of them. It's not every day that... Exactly we right. do a giveaway like this. So. Yeah, much appreciated, guys. Anyway, um, so 
once again, I'm going to say thank you to you guys for coming up <laughs> and thank you to all the sponsors. So, PLE, Aussie, Aussie. $50 vouchers, <laughs> once again. $50 vouchers. Um, obviously, PLE for the Destiny 2. Congratulations to the winners. Battle Ball for, obviously, the Battle Ball chairs we have here. Cool Master for the cool gear they give us. And, obviously, MSI for the GT75 VR. Giving us a lend review. Thank you say. so much. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you. And next week we'll um, have a bit of a showcase. What, we'll be, what uh, myself and Matt will be modding for the next couple of months um, in our new cases. So hopefully it'll be good. And yeah, we'll go from there. Obviously, you'll notice uh, that uh, he he commented and he said, "If you don't follow Matt, we will let that one slide." <laughs> you'll, you'll notice that we've actually all been removed from the competition if you haven't clicked uh, yeah. on it. <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> I've been clicked on it for a while. Um, I did have. I did have all of my sponsor streamers on there, but unfortunately, it is removed. way too much. I um, to well, I actually did an, I did an allowance for two weeks on that, so it's gone now. So it's just PC four one nine. But keep pushing if you like. If you guys like, much appreciate. If not, but anyway, we're going to finish it there. Matt, thank you once again as always. Twenty one crew says, "What about the Steam voucher?" Oh yes, he didn't do a Steam voucher. <gasps> you reminded me. Twenty one crow, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Quickly, quickly, Steam Voucher. Ready, guys? Go, 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 go. Hashtag PC419 Steam. Steam. Hashtag PC419 Steam. Go, go, go. Feel sorry for the people that have left. Oopsie. Oh, well. Should have reminded us earlier. So we give away too much stuff. Do you know what it was? You I've think, actually, forget I've, about I've it, actually yeah. got in line when I'm, when I'm doing what my vouchers on doing the giveaways and I skipped... I skipped you, a topic. You skipped a topic. And it, in between a topic was the voucher. So that's the reason why I didn't see it. Rookie mistake. Yes, rookie, rookie mistake. mistake. But one of you lucky guys are going to win. Hopefully it's mum, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Another two minutes, guys. Yeah, we'll, then, we'll give it two minutes. And then we'll um, we'll close it. So we have 16,980. And let's see if it's changed since then. 17,025. <laughs> there you go. 17,000 mark. Hopefully, because some people didn't know, like Booster Kane didn't know about it. Yes. Hopefully, he's entered now. Yeah, uh, hopefully, true. good luck, man. All I can say, good luck. So, maybe as Matt was mentioning, quietly, if oh, you don't have to say anything because I said it. Oh no, 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 it's not that. Say it if you want. This is a big thing, guys. So tune thing. in. Listen, listen. It may, may or may not happen. If the entries do increase to a certain amount, something may change. In the actual, I um, oh, see. You're not. You're not revealing. I'm not revealing. It. Okay. Right. Gonna, you something, tease you. Something may change in the giveaway. You tease you. And it's trust me, it's a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. Depends. On, depends on the entries. We'll see how we go. So, like, like Booster, he's just he's just about finished entering. So, what's the cap that you want to hit? How many? Because how many entries do you want to oh, hit? If I can hit thirty thousand plus, be wrapped. 30,000. 30,000. That's a big number. That's so big number. if we hit over that, something changes. Yes. 30,000 plus. Something changes. Yeah, something will change. Chronic says that was so informative. <laughs> Chronic, that's the reason why. You know what? I'm probably the most cryptic, cry, cryptic person. Can't even say it. Cri- I can't even say it. <laughs> it's the fucking Red Bull. Um, crypt. I can't say it. Cryptic. Cryptic. I'm saying cryptic. Cryptic person. Cryptic. Cryptic. Um... <laughs> person alive because i get messages all the time especially from matt and a few other people on facebook telling me why are you so cryptic for like every every single answer i give him it's like yep this is this worst messenger ever sitting next yeah. to me he just cuts out 50 words from a 60 word sentence and you much, have to yeah. guess the other and guess and guess the rest <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so uh, so what Thirty thousand. 30,000 plus. All right, if we, if, if we get over 30,000 entries into this competition... That picture will change. <laughs> that picture will change and we'll add something new into it. Exactly right. For you guys to, to get. So, so the more you guys share it, the more you spread around and put it through on Twitter as well. I haven't done much on Twitter nor Instagram, but I, I do want to get into that, into that stage as well. So if you start hashtagging PC419 and also putting it... Putting out, sharing out this product, and sharing out this, the, um, this, you know, the actual yep. giveaway. Hey, did they, have, did, have you guys seen the, the Hoffs chilling in on the sides as well? Yeah, no one's actually realised. You didn't that. see it. Mm. There's one there and there's one there. I have two of them. Grab, grab that one. Jeez, they're heavy. And no, they're not going in the PC. <laughs> that's, a bit, that's what you're wondering. Yeah, we, we got these on display. So these are GTX 1070 Hoffs. <laughs> they're heavy. 
Um, yes, these were in our builds. These were in a GX1200 build that we had for Antec, which we may be looking at doing another Competex build if everything does go well, hopefully. These are absolute beasts of cards. They, they, easy, they easily weigh... Four kilos. Four kilos? Four kilos each. <laughs> and I shit you not, that's four kilos each. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. huge. That's yeah. huge. All right, guys, the entries are closing for the Steam Voucher. Yes, they are. They're closing, closing, giveaway. closing, 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 and closed. Closed. And we're going to pick the winner. Winner, winner. Winner, winner. is DeFavored. DeFavored, congratulations. DeFavored. You have won the $1 Steam Voucher that we're giving away. That's $1 US. So convert it to Australia, <laughs> it's about 20 cents. $1. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. You won yourself a Steam Voucher that we almost forgot about. Yes, we did. Oui. Still apologize about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Thank you. Uh, who was it? Uh, who was it that said something? Yeah. It was 21 Crow. 21 Crow. Yep. You are now banned. <laughs> yep. Oh, and 21 Crow also said, is the the thing that you're changing a Titan XP Star Wars edition? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're putting in. In video I've come across. <laughs> and Disney. <laughs> So yeah, the fact you can message me on Facebook, please, um, would be fantastic on the PC for one on page, PC for one on Facebook, PM, um, and I will get that code to you as soon as possible. Just Thank quickly, you. I'm streaming on Thursday night. I'm going to give away a copy of Total War Warhammer Two. Can I enter? Can you enter? Yeah, you can enter. <gasps> it's, just, it's there's no bias. Yeah. Anything happening? It's all fair. Yeah, it's fine. Would it be fair if I win it though? Hmm? Would it be fair if I win it? Yeah, but then you have to give it away on the show. So we'll, we'll just chain it. No, we'll sorry. just chain it. So if you guys want to win a copy of Total War Warhammer Two, mm -hmm. please join in. So Booster wants to swap his 1080 Ti out for his Titan XP Star Wars. Don't we all? Booster, <laughs> I actually own a Titan. He's actually new to the channel. He's actually new to the show. <laughs> Lee went and bought a Titan. Is there anything on this thing? Two weeks later, it, it got superseded. Right. Right. Booster. <laughs> I own one. <laughs> Very upset. Yeah. But I still own one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say much about it. It's an awesome card. Um, it does handle very well. I'm actually overclocking it, which is actually how handling its overclock. When it goes into the new case, into the new mod, or slight mod, um, it will actually handle even more better. With with its airflow, so we should see. Keep watching. So keep watching for that, and we'll get a bit more in detail with that this week as well. So mm. you should, you should mm. be seeing a few photos mm -hmm. on the new mods, mm -hmm. new cases. We should be we'll be doing over the next couple of months. So do stay tuned. But I am going to finish it. At Nine fifty. We have twenty yeah, minutes 20 over. Twenty minutes over. Sorry, guys. God sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, everyone, who has come in to Talking Tech once again. Much appreciated, Matt. It wouldn't be Talking Tech without you, as always. Awesomest people ever. Yep. Thank you so much. No worries. No, no worries, man. And Ooh. a Sailing Gaming on Thursday Ooh. nights. Uh, Aussie Damnation every single night, uh, <laughs> every single day. <laughs> Centurion every single day. Charlie, he's been doing three days, three or four days a week. I'm, I'm pretty sure. He's sort of stopped, but now he's back on again, which is which is good. All quality and streamers. I was going to mention him because he's been busting my chops. Slick Flow, do go and see his <laughs> channel as well. Um, if you want to put it into the chat, Slick, you can more than welcome to. Um, GTA, yeah, thanks for the thank sub, you for, mate. Thanks for the sub, buddy. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, do do go watch their channels as well. And do subscribe to them as well if you can. Like, I'm not saying you have to. If you can, be much appreciated. It does support their channel as well. So, the more you subscribe to them, they can, you know, obviously put it back into the channel, buy new gear better stuff obviously doing giveaways so forth so it does help a lot it's the well. best thing when you get followed by yeah. somebody when you're streaming mum 123 Tuesday night makes me moist that's fantastic <laughs> <laughs> that is couldn't have said any better exactly right couldn't have said any better guys thank you very much once, thank you very much once again and we'll see you next Tuesday night at 8pm Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Times thanks at guys Twitch. thank you very much thank you have a good night ciao bye